Sufi orders or tariqas. The national capital hosted the first World Sufi Forum from March 17 to 20 to promote unity, harmony, tolerance and acceptance across the universe. Organized by the All India Ulama and Mashaik Board, the event aimed to discuss the issues of extremism and find ways to work out effective counter-narratives. اختلاف کرنے والے کا گلہ کارنا جازا یہ ان کا فکر نظریہ اور مذہب ہے اور زمینوں پر قبضہ کر لینا عزتوں کو لوٹنا خون بہانا مال لوٹنا اور جنگ و جدال کے ذریعے انسانیت کو بانٹنا تقسیم کرنا یہ خبارج کا مذہب تھا آج بھی ہے اور آقا علیہ السلام نے فرمایا یہ خبارج دجال کے آنے تک مختلف وقتوں میں مختلف جگہوں سے نکلتے رہے گئے پھر ان کے پیچھے دہشتگردوں کے پیچھے سیاسی عوامل بھی ہیں نظریاتی کے ساتھ سیماجی اور معاشی عوامل بھی ہیں علاقوں کی غربت انتہا پسندی دہشتگردی قطر و غارت گری ڈاکہ زنی ان جرائم کو فروغ دینے میں مدد دیتی ہیں میں حکومتوں سے التماس کرتا ہوں کہ وہ اپنے بجٹ آپس کی عدابتوں پر خرچ کرنے کی بجائے غربت کے خاتمے پر خرچ کریں میں انڈیا کی گورنمنٹ سے بھی درخواست کرتا ہوں اور پاکستان گورنمنٹ سے بھی درخواست کرتا ہوں ستر برس ہو گئے تقسیم ہند کو دو ملک وجود میں آ گئے نہ کبھی انڈیا نے ختم ہونا ہے نہ پاکستان نے ختم ہونا ہے چار جنگیں لڑکے دیکھ لیں کیا انڈیا اور پاکستان دونوں حکومتوں نے ہمیشہ کے لیے فیصلہ کر لیا ہے کہ دشمن رہیں گے ان نسلوں کا قصور کیا ہے خدا کے لیے دشمنی ختم کرو اور بجٹ دشمنی پر لگانے کی بجائے اس خطے کی غربت کے خاتمے پر خرچ کرو Around 200 scholars from 20 countries participated in the event During the mega event, leading Sufi scholars, intellectuals and academicians discussed ways to spread the message of peace advocated by Islam There is a great Sufi who came to the United States, Bawa Mohayuddin who treated all lives with the same love that a mother would treat their own child. He treated all lives as part of his own life. And he taught that the way to know God is to love others as you love yourself. But to know the self, what is the self that one has to love? It's the deepest part of your own consciousness, your own heart. So the Sufi has to know their own heart. But isn't that the same truth found in all of the wisdom of the world, to know yourself, to learn to love the gift of life itself, and to love others who've been given that gift of life. For every life that comes into this world is a gift from God. Later, a speech was given by Prime Minister Narendra Modi in which he praised the diversity of Islamic civilization and Sufism. Welcome to a people with an abiding belief in Vasudhev Kutumkam, the world is one family. I believe in harmony with the message of Holy Quran that mankind, that mankind were one community, then they deferred among themselves. A creed accord in the words of the great Persian Sufi poet Sadi, written in the United Nations, that human beings come from the same source. We are one family. Welcome to the ancient city of Delhi, built by the genius of diverse peoples, cultures, and faiths. Like our nation, the city's heart has a place for every faith. 
from those with few followers to those with billion believers. It is a magnificent sign, includes the dargahs of great Sufi saints, mahbub e ilahi and Hadrat Bhaktar Kafi, that draw people from all faiths and all corners of the world. When we think of the 99 names of Allah, None stand for force and violence. And that the first two names do not compassionate and merciful. Allah is Rahman and Rahim. Sufism is the voice of peace, coexistence, compassion, and equality, a call to universal brotherhood. And just as India become a principal center of Islamic civilization, our nation also emerged as one of the most vibrant hubs of Sufism. Spiritual Kawali was also performed in the love of God. The Sufi Congress was an occasion to showcase Indian and Sufi Islam's tradition of multicultural faith.